And we begin with developing news in downtown Charleston as city leaders are reacting to what they call a mass shooting that injured 10 people. Officers, deputies also injured in the shooting that we are told started as a black party. We begin right now with News 2's Riley Benson. And Riley, you had a chance to speak with the police chief as well as the mayor of Charleston. What are they saying about what happened last night? Yeah, Brendan Kellen, 10 people were hospitalized, four remaining in critical condition, all stemming from last night's shooting on South Street that broke out just before midnight, sending people running for their lives. City officials say they're upset. They say this community should be upset, and they say enough is enough. Now take a look at this video. People in the area of South Street can be seen running and hiding, screaming as the shots ring out. The shooting happened after a block-style party. Officials say people who live in the area have raised concerns the parties would turn bad, and that appears to be exactly what happened last night, they said. Charleston Mayor John Tecklenburg says it's a troubling trend across the nation that's spilling into the low country. We have here in Charleston a mass shooting. There's just over one and a half mass shootings per day in America. Every 16 hours in our country, there's a mass shooting. Hey guys. Now, during the party, one Charleston County deputy was hit in the face, another was knocked to the ground, and a police officer was hit by shrapnel. Two people, Tamira McGee and Aisha McGee, were charged with assault and battery in connection to those injured deputies. Police Chief Luther Reynolds says multiple guns were used in this crime overall, and that deputies, despite efforts to seize several guns last week, it's going to take a community effort to make a difference. But what happened last night cannot happen again. There's a problem that needs to be solved. Think about the mothers who've lost their sons. I've met more than one of them. And I, I say this often, I'll never forget the sound of a wailing mother who has just lost a child. Now, during today's press conference, Mayor Tecklenburg laid out eight steps he's hoping will crack down on some of the gun violence happening in the city of Charleston, including cracking down on illegal guns, getting them off the streets, and asking state legislators to implement gun laws here in South Carolina. For now, live in downtown Charleston, Riley Benson, count on two.